Hey guys, Doug here from Motion Raceworks. Today we are going to talk about how loud fuel pumps are and how to make them quieter. Hey guys, Doug here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're covering a topic a bunch of people talk often about and that's how noisy or how loud a fuel pump is. And I'm not trying to single out or talk about one pump in particular. What I want to talk about is how you can make them quieter. Uh, based on how you mount a fuel pump or how it's used will greatly affect the noise that it makes. And that covers every fuel pump under the spectrum from one brand to another, from one style to another. There's things that you can do and there's things that you should do to quiet them down. And at that point, a lot of those arguments become null and void. So let's go ahead and uh, dig down. We got a uh, sound level meter that I picked up off of Amazon because I wanted to give you guys real facts. So we'll compare this to some other things out there in the real world so you kind of have a sense of things. And then I'll show you a couple ways to quiet things down. That way you can apply that to whatever brand fuel pump you're using and hopefully have a little bit more enjoyable car. Now me personally, if I'm driving a car that makes 1500 horsepower, I really could care less about how loud the fuel pump is. But, you know, if it's a quiet car and you can hear the fuel pump over everything, why wouldn't you want to quiet it down? So let's dig in. So one important component that I think every fuel pump uh, should be, you know, mounted wise uh, built around are these rubber style isolators. These are basically going to keep the vibration from translating from the pump to the actual vehicle. Um, another nice thing is they usually space up the pump so it doesn't trap heat if you mount it flat to a surface. So it kind of lets it breathe under there. Uh, not as much of a, a concern with a brushless pump like the five gallon a minute uh, Aeromotive we run, but just adding these drops so much audible noise out of the system, you cannot believe it. So when that five gallon a minute pump came out, it's a big pump, it flows a lot. And the first thing people ask is how loud is it? And then some people were like, oh, it's pretty loud. And then there's never a quantifiable number to it. So we'll use a sound level meter. We'll get a sound level on how loud it is. And then we'll see if we can find some things around the shops that are uh, comparable noise, like maybe a drill or a drill press or a lathe or something like that. Things you guys can relate to. But what I found is a few people initially complained about that particular pump, how loud it was. I put rubber isolators on mine. I, I physically, and I don't know if it's just because I don't pay attention, but I can't hear it. It's just not loud. It's not a, a issue for me. Um, so rubber isolators are humongous. Another thing uh, that comes into play is what style hose you use. If you use nylon hose, uh, nylon braided hose, that is gonna reverberate way less noise along the sheet metal and frame that it's tied up to versus the stainless steel uh, braided hose. That stuff is gonna translate all of that noise and all that vibration all the way up and down the car because for obvious reasons, you have solid metal connections everywhere. So any vibration is just gonna be uh, amplified by that stainless braided hose. Now the last one, we'll go back to the Balder Eagle. It's one of the things I love the most about that car is the simplicity of the fuel cell. So now um, Aeromotive uh, and then also MagnaFuel as well as a few others have adopted an in-tank setup. So basically you have these big pumps and they just have a fuel hat and they drop down in to the uh, fuel cell. Fuel surrounding the pump is going to greatly reduce uh, the vibration and audible uh, noise level that comes off of a fuel pump. Uh, that's why factory fuel pumps are in a tank as well as for cooling. And that's why a lot of times you'll see these double triple pump uh, setups. They're not very loud because they're surrounded by fuel, 15 gallons of it. And then all of that's all rubber isolated and mounted. So it's just kind of in its own little cocoon, if you will, of quietness. So either rubber isolate it or drop it down in a tank. So ambient noise, before I started talking, is 38 uh, dBA. 33, 38 dBA. So that'll give us a good reference point to go from. So now what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and turn the pump on and see how loud it is. <laughs> okay, so the max DBA that that thing uh, makes is 72 DBA, 72.8 to be exact. So it's pretty good, really, considering, uh, you know, how much power that thing will make almost 1,600 horsepower on E85. 
So let's go walk around the shop and compare a few things. What do you think, Chad? You're louder than the... Just us having a conversation is 77. How about this? Put it next to the stroll press. Okay, that was uh, 91. Yeah. Uh, how about a cordless impact? So that's 90. Let's turn on a water pump on the car. That's 61. Water pumps are pretty quiet, so it's a little bit louder than a, just an electric water pump. Honestly, every um, externally mounted fuel pump ever has somebody complaining about how loud it is, but nobody ever quantifies it. So I'm not sure if it's human you know, perception or if it's how they have it mounted, but uh, we'll find out some more stuff and see if that's too loud for you guys to handle. How about a sink, Chad? The sink is louder than the pump. <laughs> the sink is 73 decibels. Our machine shop is almost louder than that pump. Okay. That's a quiet generator. We're testing things to see if they're louder than a, than a 1500 horsepower fuel pump. The room is louder than that fuel pump is. That bandsaw is louder. I'm not sure if that's impressive or not though. <laughs> Let's see what the inside of a Duramax, how loud it is. So it's quieter. Oh, yeah. But again, you're not talking about the fuel pump on this thing, you're talking about inside of it. 72 decibels, was it 72? Yeah. 72, even that is gonna be quieter inside a car so long as it's not reverberating, meaning it's rubber isolated and it doesn't have the stainless hose transmitting all that noise throughout the car. So by the time it's in the front cabin area where you're at, it's gonna be quieter yet. I mean, guaranteed. Actually, we should go test that. Can you see that, Chad? There we go. Yeah. It's really not any louder than a Duramax diesel engine running inside the car. Okay guys, so you can see that compared to a lot of everyday things in your shop, and then even inside you could hear how quiet, I mean you could actually physically see how quiet it was compared to back here. It just shows you that none of these fuel pumps need to be loud and they'll all benefit from it, not just this one. We just have this one in the shop so I wanted to use it as an example. So use your head. Isolate things, uh, rubber isolators on the line. Don't use stainless line if you're concerned about noise. Um, if you're really concerned, do an in-tank fuel pump setup. That's gonna quiet it down even more and also keep the fuel pump cool. So if you're gonna um, be concerned about those things, those are all definitely things to take into account. So thanks to this uh, sound level meter, we were able to put a little bit of factual information to all of those concerns and things that float around the internet and uh, hopefully that gives you a little better understanding. If you have some ideas for other Tech Tip Tuesdays, do not forget to put them or drop them in the comment section below. That's how we get ideas, that's how I got this idea. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in, we will see you later.